Well, they don't call me fast Eddie Crowley for nothing, <laughs> so I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. Right. Now, Wild West has just been released... Um, well, it was released in London last Friday. It goes nationwide this um, coming weekend. Um, Naveen Andrews is the star. He's with us. Now, with a title like Wild West, I mean, it suggests some sort of root and toot in Western, doesn't it? Starring somebody like Clint Eastwood or some sort of Young Guns type thing, but it's anything but that. Do you want to tell us what the story is? Well, I, I, I think it's pretty wild, you know, but um, it's, it's, it's a bunch of Indians uh, in Southall, which is West, I suppose, um, playing country western, which is a medium not normally associated with, uh, I mean, you, get, you, get, you can get heavy metal bands, you can get punk bands, but country and western, you know, it's, it's not really common to anyone, really, although it's, it's popular at the moment, but it's not what, um, it's, it's not what I would have done. What was the appeal of the film for you? I mean, what do you think the appeal of the movie's going to be? Music and the, the sense that um, you can do whatever you want. You've got the freedom to be whatever you want to be. You know, nobody can put you down for um, their own reasons. If you've got enough self-belief and courage, you can do whatever you want. It paints um, a wonderful picture of um, Southall. Um, you know, people stealing police cars and taking the tops off and, you know, loads of guns and shootouts at Bangra dances. What was it like making the film and what sort of reaction did you get out in Southall when you were making the film and what did people make of what you were doing? Well, Southall really is like that. The, 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 the way the film works is that it uses those sort of elements of Southall that are real, like crime, gangs or whatever, as um, it comes across as quite surreal. Um, it was... It was invigorating for me because I'd never really been surrounded by so many Indians before, you know, your own people. So it was, it was good for me. Um, and also it turned every sort of stereotype on its head. Because mm. normally we're stuck in a corner shop selling cigarettes, mm. and, you know, dirty magazines, but um, this changed it. And it was, it was a good part. Was there any anecdotes, you know, any anecdotes to tell while making the film? I mean, any sort of things that, you know, perhaps might have gone wrong? Yeah, uh, well, uh, what went wrong? Um, the, the pigs picked us up at one point when we... I don't know if you remember when we were driving along that Cadillac and going through all those red lights and cars crashing. Some pigs picked us up uh, just after we finished that and they wouldn't believe we were filming. We were sitting in the car, man, you know, with a camera. And they wouldn't, they wouldn't believe that we were making a film. They didn't let us go for about 20 minutes. Really? Yeah. Yeah. There's some wonderful lines in the film. There I like, you go, um, pigs. I like the one in particular where um, the band are rehearsing and uh, your mother comes in and she says, um, you know, why can't you play nice music like, like that Cliff Richards? Almost sounds like Keith Richards, doesn't it? <laughs> if only it was. Um, yeah, there's, there's a certain polarity between the old, older generation of people who've come from India mm -hmm. and who's people who've been born here. I think it's a lot harder for us because we've got to deal with two cultures and reconcile the two of them and still have a sensibility about who we are. Um, Nothing's resolved. There's no perfect resolution to anything, but um, you can only try. 